All right, boys and girls. Hello, my name is Mike Kelly. Again, animatorsforum.com is one of the forums I administer. Also at uh, the iClone Forum. <laughs> I'm very tired this morning. Got up very, very early this morning, about 3 a.m. For some reason, I got to bed early. But anyway, I wanted to show you some more experiments here with um, Python and iClone. Uh, now that we have the ability to generate vice seams and... Um, this is more of a, I don't know what you want to call it, kind of a, um, I don't know, experiment. It's not, it's not something I'm going to use. I was doing this mostly just to follow through on uh, something I wanted many years back before we had live face, particularly now that we have it with the uh, iPhone, because I like to do my lip sync that way. But in the old days of... Um, when I did uh, my show, that was uh, optioned by Fox, we did uh, 2D lip sync using a program called Papagayo. This is a free program. You can go ahead and Google this out there, Papagayo, and then do like lip sync or animation or whatever, because there's there's other things that say Papagayo on it. But it's a free program, and it's actually it's actually made for uh, Anime Studio, which is now also called Moho. And uh, it used to be a great, it still is, it's a great, great program for generating uh, lip sync. So I want to show you something. I want to, I have this file here already set up here. Um, this is a file that I, uh, I loaded in just off of the, uh, the web. This is from um, Harry Potter. So I think it's Harry saying I'm, I'm up to no good. So hopefully you can hear this if I play this. I solemnly swear that I'm up to no good. Did you hear that? Hopefully. Um, so Harry, so what happens is you, you have the WAV file, you load in this WAV file, and then you, you type in your text. And um, the, the text then is broken down into the, the phonemes or the visemes. Visemes are the visual representation of phonemes and, uh, and breaks it out. And then you can move these around to uh, get this to be exactly right. So as you go through this, you can see the little uh, face over here on the side. So you go through and you can go. I, so he says I there. So you might want to drag this one out a little bit so that he, um, see, so he, then, so it's a visual way of being able to drag out your, your, um, your vice seams and then align them up perfectly. It's really good. And, uh, and then it generates this, this data file. So you see export, you just export this data file. And the data file, let me uh, bring this up here so you can see it. This DAT file, swear that DAT. So if I uh, open this up in uh, Notepad, so you can see how it generates this this text. So here it is, it has, uh, it says Moho switch, and then it has for every frame, this is this is based right now on 24 frames per second. So at the frames, it puts in the uh, vice seams along with the uh, the rest portions in between. So then, when you load this file in to uh, Moho or Anime, it parses this and puts the right um, puts the right things in to make your make your little face say that. Okay, <laughs> Girl, I'm sounding so sleepy and tired. Uh, hopefully this is making some sense. So this is what this program works, and it's really nice. It would be nice if we had a similar program for uh, iClone, because iClone does a lousy job at, at parsing an audio file, which this would do as well if you didn't have the text. In other words, the, the key to this is the text. By having this text in, the program can look at the audio wave, but also break it up properly, okay? And then you can manipulate it properly. So so iClone, when you load in an audio file, I'm sure you guys have tried this before, and, and it parses it, it does a pretty lousy job. And then what you have to do is you have to come in on the timeline here, and then you, you can move the vice seams around yourself and adjust them. But this is a lot more difficult to do than, than having this kind of Papagayo uh, visual representation where you can scrub it and see the and, and you know move the vice seams around and also then add in you know whatever the vice seam is that you that you want to add in on so so anyway it's uh, 
it's this is an easier program. So my thought was, well, I'll take this program <laughs> and I'll read the data file and I'll create the vice seams um, for iClone so that you can use it that way, right? That, that makes sense, right? It's a little bit. Um, so uh, so if I was right here at this point in time, now the, the bad part about this is the way the way Python is so far is we don't really have the ability to create this um, this record, this Viceme uh, data. So you actually have to start with something that's already there. So so I loaded in a voice that already has this, and then I cleared out the Viceme. In, in the hopefully in the newer versions, it does say that it's going to the newer version is going to allow us to delete Vicemes and edit them and move them around. For now, we can just add them. So there's that. That's that's one disadvantage to begin with. The other disadvantage is I'm not even sure that this this is great. It's okay and for those of you. Maybe it'll it'll be a little easier for those of you. But but I wanted to show you the theoretical possibilities of it. So uh, if we if we always go to our council. Well, first let's do this. Well, I'm I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to import that audio file at this particular point in time. No good right here. I'm going to import it here. I'm going to import it. If I import it as a voice track, it would try to generate those vice seams, but I don't want it to do that. So I'm going to just import it as a, as a soundtrack right now. Uh, oh, except that it it uh, it doesn't like the... Uh, I don't think it's a WAV file. Uh, oh, it is a WAV file. Well, it didn't work. It worked before. <laughs> uh, clone is so weird. Uh, if I can't do this, I'll just... Uh, Soundtrack should work. Yeah. All right. Well, it it worked before, but you'll just have to trust me on this. <laughs> I don't know why it's not working now. Uh, I'll 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 continue through this because it'll it'll still generate the vice image. You just won't be able to hear how it works. Um, so here's here's the code to do this. This is all the code. There's not much code to it. What's useful about this code for those of you that are working with Python that are brand new to it is it does show you how to process through a file. So this is the that DAT file right here. This this DAT file. This is how it reads through that file. I always show all my code. So your the code's right here. It opens up the file and then it goes through and it reads it line by line. Okay? You can search through the text. Uh, and basically it just breaks down and grabs the frame at the start of it. I'm grabbing that frame at the start. Uh, and then because in, in iClone frames uh, uh, are 42 of the time code. I don't know how to explain that because I'm not very awake yet, but but 40, 40, the number magic number 42 multiplied by frames gives you the right the right time space for that uh, for 24 frames per second, which is what we're using. And so I just basically say, you know, generate those vice seams. That's where it just adds the vice seams. That's that's really all there is to it on that line. Here's here's the vice seams themselves. Oh, I should mention this too. Uh, you might say, well, Mike, uh, they're, they're not all the vice seams are there. And that's true. Um, Papagayo, uh, this particular program as it is, only uses a, uh, I think, 10 maybe? I don't I remember what there is, 8 or 10 vice seams, which works fine. And and you don't need, if you look, if you go on the web and look, you'll see there's a lot of theories about how many vice seams are really needed. Anywhere I think people between 8 and 12 is the consensus. Um it, more vice seams don't necessarily make a better mouth, but they do offer it a little bit more variety. Uh, these seem to work okay, and but you could add more vice seams in if you wanted to. And you can actually, Papagayo's open source code, you could actually even alter the source code for this. The reason I don't even bother with that is, number one, it looks good. It works good. It was good enough for Fox. They were, they were happy with it. Uh, but it's uh, also the dictionary that this is based on uses these vice seams. In other words, when it looks at this word, looks up solemnly, the dictionary has it broken down into these vice seams. So you would have to find a, another dictionary, another phonetic dictionary out there. And there, and there may be. This one was, I think, generated by Harvard or something. Uh, and it's open source as well, so you could add to it. But whatever. Um, so I think that's really about all I wanted to explain about that. So we'll run it. We'll go. We'll go ahead and, and uh, run that. Run that file here, and it goes through it. It generates those vice seams, and then it finished. I just had to put in some stuff so I knew what it was doing. Uh, in, in an actual coding process, I would take out these. Um, where is it? Somewhere where I print. I print start, and I 
I print the vice seam somewhere. Oh, here I, are. I print my vice seam. So this this actually we probably should get rid of now that I now that it works. Don't really need that anymore. But anyway, and then you can go in on your timeline. Now you don't see the vice seams because again that's that one of those things where you can't you can't see things even when you even when you play it doesn't necessarily show up. Oh, there they go. They're play. When you play it shows up. So there's all the vice seams. So. Uh, and it, it generated those and put those on the timeline. And if you saw the audio file, if you could hear the audio file, which I for some reason can't load in at the same time, you would you would see that she actually speaks to that to those. Uh, she says those things. Now her mouth movements are kind of large, uh, and and I guess, I think you guys know that you can go in uh, to edit. Uh, if you notice what I did on my code, I, I put it in in a hundred. That's the full vice seam amount, you know, the full the full mouth lip movement amount. But you can go ahead and and you can go ahead and modify that. So you can change the uh, expressiveness of the uh, of the lips. Where's the lips? It's not there. Where is it? I guess it is there. You can you can change this. I thought there was some place else where you change the uh, vice seam option. There's lips. Oh, there we go. Vice seam strength. So you can you can lower the vice seam strength down, okay. So it's not here. So it's down here. Uh, so you you can lower it down to you know maybe about sixty percent. I found that that was a decent amount. So you watch her lips, and now she's moving her her mouth around with a decent amount. So so there is another way of doing things uh, again without having to muck around with with this on the timeline and edit stuff. And this is very accurate. If you would, if you were to look at this, uh, you would see that these. This is much more accurate than iClone can handle it. Um, the reason I'm not going to do it is that I like to use the, the face wear, the live face with the uh, with the uh, iPhone. It's just easier for me. Uh, but this is available. This this code is available. Papagayo is a free a free program to use. You can go ahead and um, and download that. And use my code and. Generate your own vice seams on the timeline if you want. Or this might just give you ideas on other ways of working with iClone and Python and, uh, and generating those things. So hopefully that helps, guys. And we'll see you around the forum.